When them out stink, and then they walk and suck all about them come back in the house. Suck out and eat them and all about the place got treated and thinking about to come back in the house. And run off them out and talk to you. No, I'm not a lesbian. No, I'm not a lesbian. No, I'm not. I don't rub pussy with no man. I'm not a bomber clock thing. I like hood. I like big, fat hood, nice hood, good hood. But good, good attitude with the hood. So I can enjoy it. I don't mean, make you enjoy it. Can't do nobody a hug and a cuss and a fuss and a when they come with your fucking hood. I can't enjoy that shit. I can't enjoy that. Too much things already said out of your fucking mouth. When you mean it, you get an argument, you say some shit, don't come back. Because when you come back, I'm thinking about that shit and I get my pussy in the night. I don't like that shit at all. Then I say, go. Come on, if I was here, I get an argument, I tell you all kind of fuckery. I still come back for your pussy, I come make up nice in the night, I yawn in the night, and, uh, and all this bum back like that. You remember all the things that I talk about it? I'm not going to tell you say it smell, but I still want it for you. If you ask a sad mackerel, or you want to touch, you understand, darling? This world is upside down in here. Living in a house, I'm going to live in a house with a man right now. The young boy called me, he's big with me. You see him, young want to push me in the subway. He called me, where are you, darling? You got to tell me the drama. He <laughs> called me, come ask me, I'm going to Brooklyn today. I said, yes, I'm going to be in Brooklyn. You're going to be downtown? I said, yeah, yeah. I know I was going to go downtown and go buy no water by Trader Joe's. I know I was going to stay far from that block that day. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll be downtown, man, no problem, you know. Yeah, it's like, oh, I gotta see, you know. I'm coming downtown, if you're not coming downtown in Manhattan, I could come to Manhattan and meet you, you know. So no, man, may I come Brooklyn, man, you know. Yeah, yeah, I come Brooklyn and so on, yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I reach Brooklyn now, I reach and I go Brooklyn and come back and buy all my big food and food. I sit on my big food and frap me frap, wrap me frap, till I hear my call. He reached Brooklyn, I reached Brooklyn long time, I reached Manhattan and come back a long time. Long damn time, I reached back Manhattan. Bring Manhattan, you are. It's like I said, I could come and meet him. I said, no, no, no. We see what's going to go downtown. I said, I'm change my mind. I'm back in Brooklyn now, I'm back in Manhattan now. You know what I'm saying? So, so, you know, I could come to Manhattan and meet you. I said, where you want to meet me for? Why you want to meet me now? Tell me why you want to meet me. What? What is it? Yeah? You know, because I told you already. But say, you ain't tell me nothing. You ain't tell me nothing. You say, you like me, I'm telling somebody I look nobody. You say, you like me, I say, I'm not looking nobody. So, what do you tell me? Wait me, what you tell me? What you told me? You ain't tell me nothing, bro. I know what you're talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like I told you, I'm not looking for nobody. I'm looking for a place to live. But, like, well, you never know. You know what I'm saying? You're like, like, I say, well, if you're looking for a place to live, like, you want to say, him can't help. Like, you never know, you know, like, Anyway, because cause you never ever know, you know what I mean? Anyway, whatever, you know, like, all right, then, okay, all right, all right. I say, okay, you take care now. Mamba clot off of my phone. Young blood clot, young boy with all them dreads, them hang down for come fool a big man like me. Eh? Come with him cute face, and then, so the devil coming out, so the devil come all the time. If you come dig out people, blood clot soul. Come with him dreads and like a perfume, sitting on a smile up him teeth, them clean. Take your time, I come on, I come on, I can take me a blood clad fall. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, goody? I take your time, I come on. My big bumble clad, your ass, pork pussy, oh man. <laughs> you know what time it is. My big fat pork pussy. Big fucking old pussy, pork pussy, they may have there. Can't take good on the likes of me on a blood clad sense. Where you go with that, I go? Eh? My little bleaching cream, blood clad money, me in a shelter. Where you have to give me, boy? Never decent home. Can you open the door and put me in a nice apartment for live? And be a real fucking man? No. I walk around and fuck all them young girls about the place and tell people like, God, I'll have gone around for your blood clot. Would it? God, I've gone around with the skin over that blood clot, the planet, or some syphilis. Eh? I come to come play around my mind. To come manipulate me now for me go down weak. Like, start to think about the flesh, you know? Like, my, my, my mind is powerful and strong and that with God will. And that never come to know in a shelter. To find a place where I to live. And I also my two cream. I'm gonna meet boy at roadside if you can't tell me what. In darling. And when I go go fuck in a hotel, I will tell him I go go fuck. But I when I go go fuck, darling. He must have some place my plan for go fuck. Eh? Because if I pussy him, I look which part of my putting on the roadside. So he has something else in my mind. The fuck out of here. Out of order. Hmm? A big woman like me now. I go later, I make a spread my leg, young boy open at me for what? What you do up in night? What's the cost you're gonna be up in there? What is going to benefit me, you being up in there? Hmm? Rackled up my woman in my old days. What is that going to bring me right now? What is it? 
You don't want a house. You don't want a business. You can't give me a key to an apartment. You understand? Because if I look something, I look for a life. I look something out of life. I don't look like the old days when the pussy gone down and the mileage run down for the little bit of pussy where you have the mileage left. You got to take the little bit of life for the diet and go get some young boy if you can work it out, you can't help you with nothing in your life. You better take a big man like yourself where you have something where you look somebody. A decent big man where you have your own house there. You know, no picnic and you can't put it upon the wheel. And you can't sign over for the house you go live with him and cook and enjoy with him and eat with him a good smaddy. And love life and move around and go on vacation and move around and live life together. That's what you're looking for. You can't get up a big woman like in a whole day like that. Go take up the young boy and stretch up between your legs. Lay down a ha ha and then I'm gonna argue with them whenever you go about them business. Get somebody that wanna live life. They want a decent woman you can cook. Well, look good. You can't cook good food in the house. You can't take care of a man. So if you even get someone to live and someone to live a good story, you have to live your comfortable and nice. You understand? You can't take care of him and him take care of you. And enjoy life. It's not about you go spread your leg with somebody who can't fucking help you. They can't do nothing for you. They're looking to help them one dick. They have them own thing and them plan their mind and them plan for the way you use your um, trick you, get your kill and all them something there. Set you up and all them fuck ready. Move your blood clot and go sit down. Your bumbo clot and go sit down in a corner with your wood and go jerk off that blood clot to yourself. Now who them think them a fool by ya? Hmm? That's how people can't get a good life in the last days now. You meet somebody good where you want to take along. You have some good man out there with good place. Good place. They have them one house, them one in this one. Somebody help them. Take out like a garbage, clean up the place, take time to like a repair. Having good tenant in the place. You know what I mean? Good place. You don't need no motherfucker who just want to go looking pussy for you. Figure a hotel for go fuck. I come at them place and let you into them door, the apartment set up nights. They want to go out, they want Brock style pie. If you come in, they come sit down, go smoke a little herb, you want a little hour, eat one little lunch, and fuck one in and then try right, right, right back to the door. I walk you right back out the door and lock the apartment. You're not for a sleep. You're not for a sleep. Your pussy still a bunny, you yeah, walk with your pussy stretch out. Still a bunny, you yeah, walk back at the shelter, which pie your day. You yeah, go back which pie your day, go lie down and sleep in a government shelter. And film who done come and trouble already. I'm going to feel in bed, go lie down and sleep and cook him food in my apartment and cook up him put and feel good. Him come already, you pull the come out of him already. Am I right? Now look out for yourself, no? Stay there. Now look out for your ass self. Now look out for yourself. Sit down there and look out for yourself. That man go and take him out in a shelter. Yeah, my boyfriend. Are you in a fucking shelter? Are you go out there? Fuck a fuck a fuck a fuck a fuck a suck. And I come back in. I go out a fuck a suck and come back in. That shit not bringing you no good. Get a good person that want to suck along in life. Get a good person that want to suck along in life. Get them. That want something out of life before death come. You have some people that want something out of life before death come. Some good woman and some good man. You have some good woman out that want a good man by them side. The want a man to come in and use them for them like a building when they mumma dead left them. They look a house with the mumma dead left them when they papa dead left them. So when they want to come in, they make you get praise and borrow money for your house. Then come in for come trick you and say they love you. Then they call an upraise and make you call an upraise up your house. Borrow to cut big old mortgage for your house. You can't pay back the end of the month. You can't pay the mortgage. Mortgage get high. You can't take out so much money to the house to buy a jewelry game. Necklace and big glasses. Cha cha boy, take out car game. Out of your fucking house. You can't put hood in your crutches. Stupid. If you're gonna borrow money to that shit, you borrow the money to the house for yourself and set up a business inside your house for yourself. So that business could flush and pay back your mortgage by yourself. Don't take it spend by none of blood clot them. With an the operator. Take it and set up a business. So the business we borrow the money out of the house for is a business. You can pay back your mortgage at least. And have your business going. Don't take it spend by them, take it give them. And take it by pussy or road, and take it give other woman. And your house got a foreclosure. When they don't left you right where they empty house, not the night. Not a thing that you night when they don't borrow the money out of it. Not a thing. Rass all them, yeah. Yes, good, you love you too. Big up yourself too. Now then come become fool, you. Yeah. Put them wood in your pussy and ram ram and jam and wind up in your body and stretch up your leg and stretch it back and shoot themselves down in you. And feel like say, well, you know, them are the man now. Can they make you scream? 
Makes you scream, man. Get up, make it scream, man. Get up in that shit and make her scream. Oh my God. You should hear what she scream. Fuck all that. You ain't gonna hear me scream, bitch. I scream when I'm eating a pot of food. That's the time I scream. Because I love me some food. Shit, that's the only time you see me screaming when I was told at fucking <coughs> at Thailand, pot pan fire and fish and sitting and fry and sitting. That's the time I bitch scream. And some juice and some shit. Some good food. Fill up the whole fucking table with food. You know what I'm saying? Make some fish, some curry fish, some curry crab, shit with some coconut. Cause they don't be making no good food no more. They don't making no fucking good food no more, man. You can't just make curry crab like that. Curry crab don't make like that. It's curry and crab. But that shit is nasty. You use coconut juice to make curry crab. Always coconut juice. Always. You create the coconut them. I blend them and squeeze out the rich coconut juice. Rich coconut juice you squeeze out. Rich. All right, and you put that pan in fire, and that you put pan in fire. You, you season up your crab. You already done chop up the crab already, boil it. Put up your curry, your season, and everything in the crab already. And you put that into the coconut juice. You hear me? Yeah, the rich coconut juice with all the season, the curry, and the crab, and everything just dry down. That's how you get curry crab, my nigga. You can take up some of that and put it on the side of your plate. What about that? With a big slice of salmon and a big slice of um. Red snapper, curry red snapper, your chickpeas, your good food and shit. I ain't got no time for that shit. I like good food, my nigga. Table full of big fish, switch some stuff inside with callaloo, crackers and all them something there. Big thing of Irish mash juice, blend up and thing. You know what I say? Some fried fish, cook up some seafood, some oysters, some scallops and all that shit, different side. Whole pan vegetable cut up on the table and shit. I want to you, them thing that turn me and make my pussy jump. Food. Pussy, me and my pussy jump when it comes to food. Pussy tongue start jump. Put in a drawers. No food. Don't fucking come lay me out. Come fucking ride on top of me. With all your sweat all over. Your fucking sweat and your skin on me. Riding out your fucking demons on me. No fucking way, my nigga. Ride the demons in fucking hell. Not on me. <laughs> I have to tell you that right now. <laughs> I tell you that right now, my nigga. No, 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 no way. Say, fucking ride and get sweaty, mess up on my bleaching cream, right? Forgot see him too. Forgot put the antics for me. Forgot see him when my imagine he. Forgot see him when my imagine lal. Put him body in and squat up and chuck up foot and go up in the air. Poor old man. Eh? I'm a big, big 32 year old son. I got the same amount of boy on my front. I dig up my front. Like him more plan cassava. Not a blood clot. Get out of here with that. I want food to yam. And to be comfortable. Fuck out of here. And food to yam, I'm a foodie. <laughs> right now, I eat one of curry crab and a fish and I say, right fucking now. I get my place, I'll be right in there cooking with you right now. I'll be getting it good. You don't worry, God is good. I'm going to be getting a place, trust me. Make the real fucking food. The water come out of my eye, run out of one of my eye here. Need that food, man. Need that food early in the morning. Because right now I'll be in the kitchen cooking the crab, you know. And the fish and stuff. I've been there cooking right now. Right now I've been in my pum pum shots just a cook. Music I go on. Drop all two music. And my more music for playing me a cook. Go to the studio and drop two music. Put on like a shot and then I cook. And while my body and cook and eat my food. Big fish and shit. Stuffing it down. Stuff let my belly down, you know. Like a laundry bag. So I can fill it up. I'm a foodie. I love food, guys. I'm sorry. You know, time for the man to push me on this and that. Go to the market and get some food, some fish, something and cook. Cook up some big pot of food. No harm to you. I left fried chicken back. Crispy fried pepper chicken back. Whoops. Curry chicken back. Chicken back soup. I love the crispy fried chicken back. The curry chicken back and the chicken back soup too. And the fish. Then that's what I like. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Thank you, I'm cooking America. Most every restaurant can go. I'm going to spend, you come to 50 something dollars for the food. 54 dollars, I couldn't believe. I told you, fish, I buy steamed fish with a vegetable. And then when we reach back in the morning, I was so mad I go back there. Salty and a steamed fish. All oh, your steamed fish and the freaking fish is salty, like pure water and salt. And the fresh and the fish. It looks so good when you buy it. When you taste that shit, it's like fucking shit. 50 something dollars. I ain't go back there. Fucking shit, man. Can't blood clot cook. Then just throw this, this, this fucking fish in the water. 
and throw it to sit in front of me, it look pretty, pretty, pretty. And serving on the plate when they get it. Can't fucking cook. Can't cook the nah, cook the Jamaican with the nice Jamaican spice them. Let's make up anything I get for blood clot, yeah. Real fake. But they must shut down, they're gonna shut down. Soon I get my shit, then I ain't gonna make the money more because everybody gonna be picking up my food and doing catering. I'll be doing catering. No nails on my finger. You know, I'm five nails on my van gloves. And I'll be cooking the hell of storm. All this time, I start cooking already. Ain't no question asked from 6 o'clock, me up and start cooking already. You're damn right. Now, a lot of man come force out the little flesh off of my body. I wind up in the yard, choke up in the yard, shoot me when I argue with you. And a big pot of food now cooking at the house. House for clean and food for cook. House for clean, everywhere clean and food for cook up like a restaurant in there. It's no way supposed to walk in your house, your house empty and not nothing to eat. And you can't cook, you have grocery. You have fridge, you have stove. And that's worthlessness that double dog. I know you're going to a restaurant turn up in a Chinese line. McDonald's, Burger King. You're worthless, man. You're worthless, man. You have a plastic container and then get down. Get a plastic container, get your fish, get your this, get your that. Get everything you want. Get your chickpeas, a bag of dry chickpeas. So soak overnight, what you need. You're ready to go in the morning, everything ready to go on the table, say everything seasoned for the night before. Set off the kitchen in the morning, the bedroom clean, bathroom clean, and come out of the bathroom and be there, wash out when you're done. Drop out the curtain, everything pretty warm the window. If you can't open the window, winter time, then you know it's warm in there. Everything pretty and spotless. You go inside your cooker, you yam, you fart. You have to fart, you know. You cook and you fart, man. Feed yourself. Make your body strong, make yourself beautiful. You buy food out every day, you buy food out you can. You better sometimes you can run, but you have to try to prepare so you at least you can cook. Take care of yourself. In a couple of days we're done. So the finger in line eh? So it's gonna come off. You see the, 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 the thing it'll come right off. Eh? Yeah. Come force your wood up in a yard, put your back shut, and jam your from the back, your body a shake up, you know, your two little knee them, you hand them a wall on to your wall on pan, feel off your fall down and then be behind you. Sag you up from the back, let's sag you up and I jam your fast from the back. Girl, them think I'm if them think that you can't go through them thing you're not gonna help. Them think I'm just wicked and say to yourself. Somebody aggravate you like that, I all over the place. And I, I said, I'm go, and I, and I put it in and I, and I go on, so, no, stop. And I stab it and I stab it and I choke it and I wind it and then drape it up in it, you see, and shove it down far. Like where you wanna go through the whole entire body? How far do you want to go to a person's body, man? The fuck wrong with you? The fuck wrong with you, man? You can't make people do you like that, man. I don't want to go to your whole entire body like you want to pierce somebody to them body. Where the fuck you want to go? How far you want to go, my nigga? The fuck wrong with you? My food is good enough for me. That's it. So that's why I say I'm chilling. I'm not looking at nobody, man. I just want to get a place. Because I already got my food. My food is my man. I already got my man waiting for me, my food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My food is my man, baby. Yeah, cook some food, bake some cake up in there, some cookies. So I'm here, some niceness. You look a nice system by yourself. Hey, baby. God bless all of you. I love you too. Yeah, come and get up on my beard and so on, but yeah. Cream, good, good. You can't get your cream. 347-469-3874. Make it dressed now. It's almost 9 o'clock now, so it's time for me to go, guys. Go, go. Get on the damn train. So I love you. Come and get your cream. 347-469-3874. My food and my man. The food I got forced on inside my palate. Forced on my throat. Give me deep throat, the food. Food I give me deep throat. You see, me enjoy it. And the food gonna make me calm. I'm a foodie. I love food. I just love it. I love food, man. Yes, good. Call and get your cream, baby. 347-469-3874. You know, when you're a regular customer, you actually get an extra jar as well. Call in. You know I'm reasonable. And I do the best I can. You notice know, you get more cream these days for your money. You notice, know, right? I try, good. I try my best. I love it too. Because I love the cream. The cream is good, good, the best, number one, good cream. 
Yes, some of the colleagues say, say, good cream already, I'm going to order now. <laughs> My next week is going to be like um, Casper, I think. One more week of this, I'm going to look like Casper. I'm going to put white and put my leg them wide, darling. My first come up here, they mess up the whole of my skin. Remember the car that I used to do something? They mess up the whole of my skin good, and I couldn't get for cream no more. That was bad, so you see my skin pretty again. Real pretty again. And it's almost done, I've done it, you know, but it's pretty still. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Come on, I want to make up on another snatch of the skin, see there? I was supposed to cream last night, I made a cream last night. Come to make my skin a break last night, I'm not cream. Until tonight when I come back. I'm just be it alone, I'm not putting a cream on. You know, I love it too. Mm hmm Take some time off line and eat my food. You know, see my face? So don't have the card of them and the good food. That's how my face looks so. Eat man, my love, my food, man. I got sweet greens every day and get my natural food though. You know? My skin can look good same time when I have the card of them. Come on, I want a bad, bad food. When I'm so hungry, I'm supposed to have chicken wing when I'm supposed to eat chicken wing. And I think when I'm supposed to sit my belly hot, man, my foot's well big. I carry the food on them stuff there. So I'm going to try to sit on the right lane. At the right lane, make your skin look good. Because when you have bleach, you drink enough water. And you eat the right food, your skin pretty. And you eat a lot of bad food, a lot of bad food, and you have bleach. Sometimes your skin, uh, the way to put your body need water, you know, filter out the system. Mm hmm. Nicola, I love you too, Nicola Lee. Destiny, God bless you too. Good as Williams, what going, baby? Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, the cream is good, baby. The cream is really good, goody. You know, I'm not going to unsold you anything not, not good. Number one, all the cream that I go, the pineapple mango, the loom, the gummy beer, all of them is good, but the mangoes are number, the mangoes one is. People like this one because they like to go from black. You can go from this color on my head to white. From your color like this to this. And it don't irritate the skin and mess up the skin. And when you ready to go back to your color, you go right back to your color and you look nice in your way, like you did a bleach. You now damage your skin. Hey boy, I can't talk about never mind, never mind with an attitude, like say, I don't care if you have an attitude. I don't care if you have an attitude for come come in my belly, come pump me up in my belly. Me lie down there big woman and so I could have want sweetness more than food. Food sweeter to me. So I go up my belly, I can pump me, I pump me, I lay down there. No more my place where I cook my food and eat my food and relax myself and pray to God. Pray to the most I God and love myself, love my soul. My soul feel happy inside. I can eat and belch and fart and just love God. Love the world that I'm in. I know that I've got to deal with what I'm living with in the world. With people, them attitude, wicked people, evilness, everything else. But also, I have to know that God is with me and God is truly in my soul. And if he told me my soul, I should enjoy his food that he gave me to enjoy and just live. Take a breather, take a breath. Try to be good to people as much as me can. I'm supposed to help one of my goodies and send a little money for you. Something she don't want for you, but I'm not get you with it yet. Because myself in a debt also, I'll be honest with you. So that's why I'm not sending it yet. I don't think I feel bad because I want to send a little money to give me a party, you know. And she don't want money for this. But she'll go to me no problem. And I have other things to pick up. Stack up my weight for money for you to pick them up and all that stuff. My mango scream and all of that. So that is why I'm not sending it yet. And it's slow, you know, it, it's not busy like one time, you know, the product is good, you know, people not having it easy. You know, that's why I try to even give a little bit more that I can. You know, goody, and so on. So your cream, your skin can come out good, me try, you know. Sometimes I'm not sending the exact. But sometimes you send more, some people think like, well, that's to get this and it's not, that's worry, but you send extra. You know, because you deal with the cream and you want them skin to look good and your customer them. You know? You want to be the best at whatever you do, you know? You want to be like everybody else. Selling these people this whole heap of cream, this whole heap of aisle, this whole heap of this move, this half a finger, half a toe, face cream different from body cream. They spend a whole lot of money. And then somebody want to talk my product down. Because they know when people come to me and they spend, I buy even one small cream for 75, I want soap. And I'm getting a result right away, you know? They don't have to buy three, four bottles of cream. They don't complain, you know? They get a result right away, they look good. And after buy this old person thing. So some people don't like that. They get mad with me because they're like, yo, you're stopping my shit from sell because they buy one bottle of your cream and after buying a face cream different from the body cream and an eye remover, they're getting a the result. So it's cheaper. You know, it's cheaper for them to buy it from me. You know? So yeah. And it works. Some of those cream in the middle work between the legs. Burn up between the legs, irritate between the neck, the spots off. This take everything off. 
smooth it out, take it out. Everybody know about it. I have to really explain the kind of a large clientele that buy it, buy the cream. I love the cream. So that's why I take time to take care of myself also. Because sometimes when people see me, I don't take care of my skin like that. I'm just selling cream and my skin look like that. Our cream couldn't go, but they don't understand that people that buy my cream all the time already know how good the cream is. So if I don't take care of my skin, is, they still buy them cream because they're them skin pretty. Let me take some time out for myself and I start doing mine. So I would say now, when did I start good? Like a good two weeks now? About two weeks now since I started creaming, right? About two weeks. It's about two weeks. It's about two weeks, mama. Right? I can do another week or so. Or just two more weeks and I'm done. Because it's pretty bright right now. And if I could do two more weeks, I think maybe one more week. I don't think I could do two more weeks. Two more weeks, mega white like Casper. <laughs> Yeah, but it's good product, you know, and I work with my goodies. I work with them. I'm sure they're happy. The goodies said, like, um, um, pick up yourself, uh, Miss, um, Miss Patsy. Miss Patsy daughter said, I don't want to buy cream from me. I'll buy no more for her, mommy. <laughs> so say, buy cream from my girl. She says, I love her cream. And she FaceTime her mom. Looks so pretty. She's like, I ain't buying no cream for that lady no more. Come here and come on. You know, this cream is good cream. Yeah. Nobody let me tell her, say, yeah, bitch. That's naturally light skin. Nobody can tell the way skin be coming out when the skin complete, nobody can tell. You know, I go look purple. You know, like somebody thumping on your eye. On your eye, red and I bleed off and one purple. Like in a scary movie. No, not not that. You know, not gonna have that. Anyway, make it just and get out of here. Call and get your cream 347 469 3874. Call and get your creams. Uh, the cash up is Olivet Smelly. Dollar sign Tina Skin Care. And I'll ship you off. I'm gonna get dressed now. Love you. Have a blessed day today. God be with you and your family. Cook your food. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your family life. And just be thankful. Don't do nothing that I wouldn't do. Don't do nothing that's going to bring you down. Don't do nothing for other people for their frequency. For them just get a hard on. And to come on you when they finish, they turn their back and you walk out through the door. Or arguing with you after that. They're just trying to use you in that way. Don't do it. Cook some food. Make yourself happy. Eat your good food. Drink your juice. Pray to God. Thank God for that you have that you can eat, you can drink. Thank God, enjoy it. Don't have your stuff and you can eat and drink or somebody will bother you. I make you miserable, you can't go make a cake, you can't go make a this, you can't go make a that like you used to. Get back in who you are, get back in your kitchen, get back in yourself and enjoy your life. Don't let anybody take it away from you. Good food bring enjoyment. So you have to eat good to feel happy. That's just the truth. You have to eat good to feel happy. Otherwise, you're not going to feel happy inside your body. Eat good so you can feel happy. Eat good. Cook and eat. Try to stay away from the most unhealthy stuff that can make you sick. But eat good because you can, a lot of food you can make that's good. A lot of food. And it's still good. Five like a chicken back soup. You know what I'm saying? But eat good. Eat good, mama. Bake your stuff in the oven. Go to the spell flour. You can get spell flour at the health store. Bake. You can blend out your dates. You can make a lot of things. Your Irish mash, make your juice, your lemon. It's just so much good stuff you can make in the house. Better than many restaurants. Many. Get your fish, you can stuff the colorloo inside. Season it up. Whatever. Steam the colorloo in the fridge, you can put in it. Open it up and put in it if you want to do it like that. It's more tasty. When the steam is separate. And then you put in it. Get your water crackers and all that stuff. Just enjoy the day in the man. The day that God will give you life, wake up this morning, you're beautiful, you look sexy, you look nice. Food near your house, soap in your bathroom. Let's get up and enjoy the day, boy. Eat your food, cook your food. It's the most important, cook your food. When you cook your food, you cook it with spirits. When you're inside cooking your food, you cook it with wealth. When you digest in your system, you get a different feeling. From when you go to a Chinese store and buy a Chinese food, you just eat because you can't handle better. You understand me? When you cook your own food, you carry spirits, your ancestors around. It's a great feeling. Crack your windows, cook your food. Enjoy that. Take your time. Don't salt it. It's better to be fresh than salt. All right? Cook your food. Bring in the day. Wash out the pot then. And then put the pot on the tile. Drop the fish in it. Come on, man. Cook that food. Don't sit in the house not cooking nothing. Come on. Lighten up the place. You cook your food, you're going to feel good. Cook, eat, belch, fart, and pray to God. Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs>